So do you, do you think society benefits from promiscuity or it doesn't benefit from promiscuity? I think it's completely irrelevant. You think promiscuity is completely irrelevant? Yes. I think whether it benefits society or not is irrelevant. I don't think like your I don't think that it should be a definitive enough as like one person, 100 people, 1000 people it is a benefit or not to society. You can't prescribe statistics yeah. to that. It's just like you can't be going 12.4% of this because it's, it's, it's relevant, subjective to each individual individual, and they're in a bodily autonomy. Okay, but do you, do, you think it's, do you think it's good for families that people are sleeping around more? In what sense? Like do you think it's good to go into a marriage with a bunch of exes? Is that, is that good? Like, and I just say this from, from experience because my parents have only been with each other mm-hmm. and like where I would see, you know, exes come back in the picture and like some of my friends, parents, marriages and like other stuff come in where my parents had like only been with each other. And I think it was better for their marriage. And that's a completely subjective view. It's complete. Like, it's, it's... Well, you could say that, but when you also have data to back it up. Right. I would say there's other factors that go into that and I kind of bring back what I said about kind mm-hmm. of having a certain amount of self-awareness, right? When mm-hmm. you choose to go into marriage, I think people have to take accountability for their pasts mm-hmm. and acknowledge, you know, where they may, may be still holding on to things before you enter into a big commitment like that. Mm-hmm. And I don't think, you know, the number of your body count or the number of people you've been with prevents you from being able to do that. I feel like you can still make the choice to do that. You have to make the choice to do that. Mm-hmm. But I think it's independent of your body count. And mm-hmm. I think even if you slept with a number of people, if you have the self-awareness to be able to say, this is what I'm still holding on to. These are the people I'm still holding mm-hmm. on to. This is why it didn't work out. I'm choosing to move forward with that. That's mm-hmm. a choice. And you can actively make that you're, choice consciously, right? You're right. And that's why it's not 100%. Yeah. But I'm saying like every person you sleep with brings more baggage to the next relationship. You can learn to it's, release that baggage. You know what I mean? You, and if you, you can, make that you can, conscious choice. You can, but I don't think most women do. Yeah, but then, then I think the conversation should be about how do we, when you say that people don't owe you understanding and compassion, I would actually disagree with that because I would say at a base, as humans, we owe each other understanding. We owe each other empathy. We owe each other acceptance so that we can actually work towards a middle ground on these issues and find a way through instead of kind of just placing the blame and, mm-hmm. and pushing people into a space where they have to victimize themselves and, mm-hmm. and, and struggle to take accountability because they're constantly being attacked for it. You know what I mean? So, But I think accountability comes with being honest. And I just think right. it's dishonest to say there's no consequence for sleeping around. And like most men will be lined up to date you even if you slept with a hundred people. Like that's dishonest. But I don't. And think- I think it's lying to a, a younger generation of women when we should tell them to be more pure and protect that. More sleeping around brings more abortions, <laughs> right? Yes or no? Yeah. Right. It brings more deaths with, um, amongst babies. People killing their babies. It brings more sexual transmitted diseases. So, then I like, would... so like I was saying, is being single promis- mothers? Single mothers also. It, it, like I said, is it better for society or not? And, and, and you're saying that promiscuity, or some people here are saying promiscuity, is, it, it doesn't matter. But it does because it affects society. It creates single mothers. It creates dead, uh, dead children. And it also, uh, it does. And, Sorry, it, cre- me- and, it, and it creates uh, sexual transmitted diseases. Don't men not no, put 